I'm at Flip Float Fly Away on Instagram and on the internet. Um, this is my home. It's a 2018 Ram Promaster 159 wheelbase with a high roof. I've been on the road for just over a year um, with my dog and uh, I love it. All right, I have to show the tires here because this is, my husband already spotted these. What kind of tires are these? Uh, BF Goodridge KO2s. They are, I would say, the preferred tire of van lifers when they go to upgrade. Um, they're absolutely amazing. They are worth the price point. Highly recommend them if you do any um, bit of off-roading, which most of us do. Yeah. All right, let's check out the inside of your van. Okay, come on do, in. Does your van have a name? Uh, it's the Penny Bago for my dog, Penny. Okay. So usually I just call it the Bago or her Bago. Okay. my kitchen. Now did you build this out yourself? I did not. So I had it uh, custom built by Off Grid Adventure Vans, OGA Vans, and they are in Frederick, Maryland. Um, and this build now, uh, the um, founder of the, the company, Aaron Fensterheim, he and I custom designed it, but it is actually one of the options that you can choose. It's called the Rambler. Um, it's a little bit different, but this is a base model build. If people are interested in literally having them build this exact van, you can do that. Nice. I love your built-in stove here. Yep, so I have two little burners here and I have a very small uh, propane tank that tucks away underneath here. It's behind the gray water in the back. It's just a little uh, smaller than a grill size, but it lasts surprisingly long. Big deep sink. I really wanted Phil to do dishes in the sink, so that was a priority for me to do something that was really deep. Nice. And does your faucet, is it extending? Yep, faucet extends. Nice. There's a pump on it. And the counter, the cutting board that goes inside, that is fantastic. Yeah, so this is actually, the sink is made by Ruvati, um, and it comes with the cutting board and um, this vegetable strainer, which I really, really like. They do, um, because it's completely square, you have to be really careful to clean out in the corners. Otherwise, that is a spot where you could get some rust. Uh, uh, you know, as with anything that's a perfect square, but it's a little bar sink, and I think it works really well. Yeah, it looks great. Van. All right, so you're gonna have to show me your bed because yeah. I'm just amazed at your bed. Absolutely, so I have a Murphy bed. Um, this is a full-size mattress, and it's just actually a memory foam topper that's from Amazon. Um, this is gonna come down, I'll show you in a bit, but this is gonna come down over here and then these cushions stay here, which actually would technically make it a queen if you wanted to do the bedding that way. So it's super easy. I have to take off my photo because you can't, can't leave anything with glass. <laughs> and then the cushions come off. And Velcro is our best friend. Velcro, yep. And these are also, and um, these are sombrellas, so they're indoor, outdoor, super durable. You just pull them off and throw them in the washing machine. Um, underneath here is actually, well, we have this up, um, electrical, and then underneath this shoe tray um, are my batteries. I have uh, 400 amp hours of lithium batteries. So nice. Pretty robust battery bank, and then 300 watts of solar on the nice. roof. And this back one, it's another little storage area, and this is actually a pull-out drawer, so it pulls out from the back door oh, as well. Oh, nice. So you can access it when the bed is down. Nice, that is a great idea. Yeah, it helps a lot. So these are just little, I guess, tension straps. Um, it'll hold all of its weight with one, which makes it really easy for one person. You can also undo this piece and just have one down. So if you have the table down, you can use that as an extra spot. Oh. I like to sit here and read with my legs out. Yeah. That's really nice. Just gonna put the bed down. It's really nice because you have all this living space with your bed. Yeah, so you can still work and hang out and have people mm -hmm. over. Um, and it's so easy. It just comes down. And it, as you can see, I mean, it's messy, but uh, two pillows, three blankets. There's a dog bed up there. Yeah. Uh, you just have to shove everything over and you are completely ready to go. So you could sleep any way you wanted on that. Yep, I'm only 5'2", so I could actually lay this way as well. <laughs> um, I do sleep with my head back there. I love, um, since I have a window on this side and on this side, the cross breeze at night yes. is amazing. I, I don't have AC or heat. I have two of the Max Air fans and those windows on the side. And that really, outside of uh, a couple weeks ago in the Keys when it was like 90 degrees mm -hmm. at night, um, I've not been too hot in here at all. That is awesome. Yeah, okay. and then when I'm standing it here, this is my bathroom actually. So this flips up and hooks, and then I have a composting toilet 
in there and I use it for a ton of bathroom storage um, as well. These are so great, the Nature's Head Composting Toilet. Yes. They are absolutely worth the investment. They're yes. a little bit of money, but the the sticker shock the, the sticker shock is uh pretty yeah. immense in the beginning the we have one too intense but they're yeah you can attest they're great um a little bit of a learning curve to figure out how to properly maintain them but once you figure it out mm -hmm. way better i think than the alternatives and this is great i mean you can just sit in here so it doesn't i mean i'm still short but i think if you were taller you yeah you wouldn't hit your head much of an issue yeah. at all and then you don't see it when you don't need it yep and that just tucks away and then you have all this extra um counter counter space. Yeah, so I do mostly, um, I only cut on this piece, so this comes up, and I use this as my cutting board, mm -hmm. um, but it is great to be able to pull stuff out of the fridge right over here, and then when you're cooking, you've got so much space um, between all the areas. Yes, and you got a little The Dometic fridge-freezer fridge combo. Right now, it's mostly alcohol, but uh, <laughs> there's you got food in it sometimes as well. This is a little drawer utensils um, and this is soft close which is nice it does mean if you take a turn really hard it will open because it's not magnetic latch yeah um, but generally I feel like if that happens it's because I was driving too fast <laughs> so it's a good it's, it's a, a good slow down it's a slow down <laughs> now it? is your fridge on propane or is that all off your batteries it's a uh, yep it's a 12 volt fridge it's by Dometic so it's mm. all off the, the batteries and do you have any problems with it running your batteries down low not really. Um, the, that's one of my most consistent draws. It draws 50 watts pretty much at all times, but it does kick on and off mm -hmm. um, since it is made by Dometic. So it only runs when it needs to get colder. Um, one of the problems with that, because it has the little freezer, it does mean that sometimes the freezer will start to defrost. And yeah. You do, do get a little bit of water that'll leak yeah. out of it. Um, that's my one gripe with this fridge, but I like having the little freezer. I have I get to have a tiny bag of ice. Yes. You could make a cold drink, which is you know <laughs> such a huge deal, or an ice pack for if you get hurt. Yes. Um, so it's worth the little bit of, of effort you have yeah. to have. But then you got storage up top. Yes, so this is my pantry, um, which is messy as pantries are, but I do have um, in here these little sh shoe racks, which have made a ton of difference because you can get an extra shelf in there. There's two in there. Um, that's pantry, this, is spices and a tiny bit of toiletry stuff and the back to our clothing. This is all dishes. I haven't opened this yet, so. Let's see what's gonna fall out. Yep, <laughs> dishes again, I'm using one of the shoe racks and then this is actually a little file. That is a great idea. Holder, um, which I love so much. It really has made it so much easier to to figure out how to, how to store stuff. Yeah. Also where my fire extinguisher is. Now, do you have swivel seat on both seats or just the one? I have swivel seats on, seats on both seats. Um, I just got lucky when I found this van, their factory swivels, which is great because the seat belt is on the seat oh. instead of up on the wall. Um, this one, especially with these chairs back here, mm -hmm. doesn't really go anywhere. It can turn a little bit sideways, but it's great for, for this. Yeah. And the factory swivels are a little bit shorter than the aftermarket ones, which is nice. So you're not yes. quite, as, yeah. quite as high up. Yeah. Now, do you work from the van? I do. So um, I just transitioned. I Before I was living in the van, um, I had been living in D.C. for seven years. I worked for a nonprofit there. And I actually transitioned that job from full-time in the office to part-time remote. And I um, kept that until last September when the project I worked on um, ended. The, it's a government-funded project. So I've switched over now. Um, I'm supporting my family's business full-time. So we are a, a tourism publication company called Must Do Visitor Guides. So we publish magazines in Sarasota, Fort Myers, and Naples, Florida. So I've been the assistant editor um, for my family's company for 11 years, and I've just taken over graphic design and uh, social media over the last year. So I do that. Freelance Perfect. proofreading, freelance writing. Really, um, I think like most of us, you just cobble together the yeah. skills you have um, to make it work. Yeah. But I do work a minimum of 20 hours a week. Um, so it's just myself and um, my very small dog who's somewhere playing mm -hmm. with her other dog friends. Um, but I am fully alone on the road. Um, and really, it has not been an issue for me at all. When I first started out, um, I was alone and not very often with friends because I didn't know a lot of other van lifers. Um, but since I started going to van gatherings um, and tiny house shows, you really end up not mm -hmm. being fully alone all that much. Um, in terms of safety, I lived in 
in Washington DC for seven years. And that frankly, there were times when I was felt way more unsafe just in the city I lived in than in the van. Um, you have to remember at the end of the day, like you are in a vehicle, so you can just take your keys and drive leave. away. Yeah. Um, I think one of the things as a female that um, I take precaution with is I don't, if I'm parking somewhere new, I don't put anything in my driver's seat and I always keep my keys somewhere that I can grab them so that you can get up and go without mm -hmm. having to like move a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I would care so much about that if I was with someone else, but yeah. it's really not been an issue. Did you bring more stuff than you thought you needed? Oh my gosh, so <laughs> much. So, and I, I spent a whole year before I moved into the van um, when it was getting built and I was figuring out what I wanted. I spent a whole year at downsizing um, from my apartment. I moved from a two-story apartment in DC into a smaller apartment in Arlington with just one bedroom. So I like pulled a mm -hmm. lot of stuff in that move, um, had so many sales, sold most of my furniture. I have a very small, like a storage unit that you crawl into that has like art and dishes in it um, in, in uh, Sarasota. But I just uh, went back to my parents in August and I pulled so many things out. I've been carrying a backpacking tent, but not a backpack. So the tent is gone. Um, I had a big camp table that I bought specifically for the van that I've used like twice. Mm -hmm. uh, there's just way less stuff. I had way more cups. I thought that like people would come over and I would need to offer them beverages all the time, but people just bring their own plates and cups and bowls when they come to your house. Um, your van friends, maybe not your your house friends, but yeah, just so much stuff. Yeah. Clothing That's... is a constant purge. We didn't talk about showers, because... Uh, yes, so I have an outdoor shower. I'm on the other side. I have a 25 gallon um, fresh water tank. That's right here. So that runs out. Um, I have an electric water pump. It is just cold water. Um, for me, I wouldn't take an outside shower if it wasn't hot. So it didn't really matter that the water was also hot. I usually take it when it's, you know, you're at Lake Mead and it's 95 degrees mm -hmm. and you're in a bathing suit. Um, I usually just shower at Planet Fitness. Mm -hmm. What I really love the outdoor shower for is hosing gear off. Hosing, if you have a muddy hike, you can hose your boots off. Um, I can wash my dog if she yes. rubs herself in something. Yeah. That has been, I think I use it that way more than I even use it as a shower. Yeah. Now, do you regret not having a built-in shower? No, no. absolutely not. Um, so my van builder, normally this is um, a wet bath. So this is an enclosed shower and it would just be such a huge loss of space for me personally mm -hmm. um i think you know if you're the kind of person who needs an indoor shower yeah um between planet fitness uh, rec centers friends houses the outdoor shower lakes rivers i've never really had issues i think colorado is probably the most challenging this is of planet fitnesses um there's like two or three in the whole state and i was there most of the summer so it's paying for showers at rec centers mm -hmm. um, but you still can find one it's just not free and any big travel plans in the next yes um so some friends and i are caravanning from baja to alaska so we are starting that out in february and then we should be up in alaska um, for alaska's first band gathering van stock in july oh that is so awesome yeah we are very very excited <laughs> well thank you for your time i love your van thank you so much yeah? do you like your van life is it so good I don't see the camera. <laughs> she sees the camera.